Hello everyone, Gasmask here. Today I will be talking about another RP game, Kingdom Life Trademark 2. This is probably one of my first RPing games that I've gotten to and actually started RPing in. And I feel pretty confident saying that it was the first for many RPers that isn't after the Flash players. So without further ado, let's get into this. So Kingdom Life 2 is a medieval RPing game that is similar to D&D, or what I'm guessing D&D is. I'm a 40k fanboy, so I wouldn't know. But yes, this game is pretty dang old. Almost 10 years old, in fact. I started playing around 2014, I want to say. I could be wrong, I don't have a good memory. But and I've played it off and on since. The game itself has gone through some changes, like dev changes. Robert Tardy 11 took over after a little guy went off to do whatever other game he playing, I don't know. Something harbored. Uh, I'm unsure if Lore guy, Lore guy still has control over it, but I'm guessing he has most of the control of the game now since he is, uh, well, I'm just guessing, really. I haven't really asked him, I don't plan to ask him really, but yeah, peak journalism here. But yeah, so is the game good though? Is there flaws? Let's find out. The game itself, like the buildings and props, look good. I'd say above average for Roblox standards. And it also doesn't crash the game when I'm playing it, but I also run it on the lowest setting. So you might have problems for playing it a long period of time, but I have a shitty laptop, so it has a hard time running anything, really. The stuff like the props and clothes are, for the most part, good. The weapons are made pretty well, as, and the clothes, they to put, there, there was a lot of time put in, into the clothes, mainly the Game Pass ones, and I'll get into that very soon. And it has a rulebook, thank god, which goes in depth, like character rules, what rules, stuff like that. And it also has a rule that, if, that even if you technically bypass a rule, it's still technically breaking the rules, which is pretty good, because, you know, you know you're local ATF hunk CRP or loves to cripple those kids with fucking sticks with their medieval AK or some bullshit like that because they come up with that dumb shit. Ah. So, yeah. There isn't really a reason. There's is, there's there's, a, there's no rules that exist for no reason like some of the ATF rules. And, well, the rules have a reason to exist. For, that's pretty much what I'm saying. But is this game all sunshine and rainbows? Well, no, this game has a buttload of issues that I, I'm going to go over them. What, did you think you can watch one of my videos without me being needlessly critical or petty? In your dreams, pal. On a serious note, this game has a lot of flaws. The first one being the community. The community itself isn't toxic. That's not the problem. The problem is that the community is split into two groups. The good RPers and the FRPers in quotation marks. So what, this is nothing new. But the problem is that most of the good RPers will straight up fucking ignore you. Which is the worst thing for any RPer to do. I'm not saying private RPing. I have a, I don't have a problem with that. I'm saying these people won't even answer a question OOC Lee. They just ignore you. And it's annoying. Like, I've had times where I'm trying to ask someone a question. OOC Lee, mind you. And they won't answer me. It's... It's annoying. Yes, I know that other games have this problem, like... Old Starship Roleplay and Dark and Dawn, etc. But this game seems to suffer from the most. A large part of the server would just ignore you, with maybe the exception of a few people. Now, what might cause this, you might ask? Well, I'm gonna say it right here, and it might be controversial, and it might be wrong. I'm not 100% sure yet. The game passes. The game passes are, well, I'm pretty sure what causes this problem. And it's also pretty common with most RP games, so I'm pretty sure this one gets affected by it the most. The game passes sort of have a form of hierarchy around them. The people that have the money to buy them, and the people that don't. The people that do buy them, and that do have them, avoid people or the people that don't. And that use the default items. Speaking of default items, another glaring issue is that the free clothes in this game has not been updated in like forever. They haven't actually been updated at all since the game had them around. 
They may have been passable back then, but they haven't aged well at all. They look plasticky and ugly as hell. There are still glitches that haven't been fixed for years. I have run into these glitches when I was 12 or 13. Right now, at the time during the making of this script, I was 16, but now I'm 17. It also doesn't help that these games have that this game has the, this game has no free content. Most of the new stuff was locked behind a paywall. I also don't want to say that something I know someone's going to say like "aha poor," which I refute with. If I could afford these and I would buy them, I would buy them, and I would still say the same thing, which I'm not going to buy them. And now. And, well, these are not cheap passes. These passes are all pretty expensive. I could, I could probably buy one or two with five bucks and not be able to buy anything else. I know they have one free pass, one cheap pass, and that's it. So how would I fix this? I would start by updating the new stuff or taking time to add for new free stuff for new players. Such as weapons and clothes. I would also start to add new content on a somewhat consistent basis. Maybe add a few new shirts or pants and swords or something like that for every new path that's released, and so on. Not only would this help them down the paywall, it would also help new players mix with advanced RPers, peers, which is something that really needs to be done so that the new players have a reason to keep RPing on other games and advance their RPing skills and stuff like that because clearly people don't want to do that anymore. This might sound a bit insane, but I think adding that copy and paste system, ID system, should be free. And for you, because you can't spawn with your hats and stuff like that normally in game. Starship RP has done this. The new the Starship RP has done this, and it's made the game a lot more enjoyable to play. So I think if it does, I think if this game did that, it would be as it would be enjoyable to play, and I would start playing it more. So I can you know have hats. I don't do. I don't make this part to tell creators. Well, tell creators how to do the job. They are merely suggestions, and really, they don't have to listen to me at all. They can just ignore me and keep making a game that won't work. That will eventually stop working. I make this part so that I have my suggestions out there, so this game can get better if the creators want to make it better. And because I care for the games, these games have been around for a long. It's a small part of my childhood that I don't want to go away. So. Yeah, I don't want to hate on the creators because they're doing a fine job, but there's some parts where they can do better. And I hope the creators do better, and I hope to take this criticism into account. So, yeah. I do have more videos planned in the works for RP and stuff. I might redo my Phantom Forces review. And I'm also sorry for my small break. I had to deal with school and the like. So, yeah. That's all. Goodbye.